Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use Laos Posse Pure Niacinamide Serum, which contains 10% of niacinamide, which is primarily a brightening ingredient. It helps to reduce surface hyperpigmentation, such as dark spots from previous acne, sun damaged skin, blotchiness, or an uneven skin tone in general. Then it contains 5% of heaps, which is an, a gentle exfoliating agent, so it helps to loosen the bonds between the skin cells. And then lastly, we're working with with hyaluronic acid which helps to hydrate and plumb the skin although those effects are only temporary when working and using a hyaluronic acid product. Now overall it's a great blend that can be used on all skin types if you suffer from those specific concerns and you can keep the overall skincare routine very simple since it brightens the skin, it gently exfoliates the skin and hydrates the skin. And so based on that, you can say it's working well for all skin types. However, niacinamide has also the ability to regulate oiliness. Therefore, it may be a bit more suitable if you have normal to oily skin, because if you're using it on dry skin, it may make the skin a bit drier, which can be a bit uncomfortable. However, you can argue when adjusting your skin routine with more hydrating products, along with this specific serum, you still can make it work. Now, overall, you can use it once or twice per day daily, morning and or evening. And this now brings me to my example skincare routines. So if you aren't familiar with them, I have always my example skincare routines in PowerPoint slides that I like to set up so that I can show you the order of application, the products that you can use along with the specific product that I'm, I'm like presenting, so that you get an idea of what a routine can look like and for whom it would be suitable. And so I want to at first break it all down and then go into the routine in general. So first of all, on the top uh, corner, you have the time of use, so morning or evening routine. Then you have the steps with the boxes where I recommend certain products that can work for different skin types. And then underneath, you have an overall general guide. Now this is, as already mentioned, a general guide. It should give you an idea with uh, how much product you are going to start. If you feel like you need a bit more, you want to reduce it, that's completely fine to adjust it, but please do not overdo it with each product because this sometimes can like, cause certain issues. So for the morning skincare routine, what's important to keep in mind is to start off with washing your face using a suitable cleanser for your skin type and needs. This can be one for normal to oily skin if you have an oilier skin type or even normal to dry skin if you have a drier skin type. Make sure that it's working well and that it suits your skin needs. Now, since this specific serum has already the ability to gently exfoliate the skin, I recommend mainly working with gentle cleansers that are working well for your skin type. I haven't tried it along with other exfoliating acid cleansers, nor with other exfoliating uh, acid leave-on products because it has already the ability. So in my opinion, it's not necessarily needed. And if you would combine it with an exfoliant in general, I'm not sure how um, like strong this would be, like if the combination can be well tolerated or if it may lead to sensitivity or irritation. So therefore I recommend keeping the routine simple since it does already like the exfoliating part within the serum. So you can experiment with it, but I do want to emphasize that it may not be needed. Therefore I pick gentle cleansers to wash the face. Rinse it off, remove the water drops from the skin surface. Then you're immediately moving on to the niacinamide serum. Apply it to the skin, leave it on the skin, and then during daytime you follow with sunscreen. This can be a regular sunscreen or moisturizer with SPF, so make sure that it's suitable for your skin type, that it feels comfortable on the skin and it shouldn't irritate your skin. If you want to go into an in-depth sunscreen guide, you will find it in the description box down below along with the other PowerPoint slides. For the evening skincare routine, if you want to use it daily in the morning and evening, well, for the evening, you can go ahead and again, wash your face with your cleanser. Um, if your usual cleanser isn't able to properly remove your sunscreen and or makeup, depending on what you're wearing, with the sunscreen that I have recommended, uh, that one like easily removes from the skin with a gentle cleanser, so there aren't any issues. However, if you're using something else and it may be a bit more stubborn, then you can go ahead and do a double cleanse. Working at first with micellar water or an oil or balm cleanser as your first cleansing method, and then you're moving on to your gentle cleanser to then like remove any last traces, residue, and specifically focus on your skin type. So then do the double cleanse. So again, rinse it off, remove the water drops from the skin surface. Then again, you're moving on to the serum. And then once you have applied the serum, you can stop right there. You do not have to follow with a moisturizer afterwards. It's completely fine to basically use the serum on its own. 
However, depending on your overall needs and how the zone makes your skin feel, maybe you will notice this over time as well, then you can go ahead and add a moisturizer at the end of your evening skincare routine and then make sure that you're choosing one that's working well for your specific needs. So maybe a gel, fluid or lightweight cream if you have like an oilier skin type or you want to work with one that like specifically give you the benefits if you have an oilier skin type and you want to add hydration to the skin or strengthen your skin barrier or if you have like a drier skin type you can work, look into a cream or lotion that's a bit richer maybe has some ceramides in it and can help you to protect the skin barrier from water loss so overall you really need to adjust it accordingly and so then there you have an example of a morning and evening skincare routine if you want to go over it in your own time you want to learn more about the additional steps since i'm constantly updating my uh, example skincare routines plus the additional information that i include in my powerpoints as well you will find everything in the description box down below just click on the link and you can even download the slides if you find them helpful now i want to get started with the entire application so you can see the setup right here we have cleanser zoom moisturizer for the evening sunscreen during daytime i'm going to go with a morning skincare routine because sun protection during daytime is important especially if you are battling hyperpigmentation so you do not want to make it worse but you want to protect the skin so we are starting off with the first step which is your cleansing step this can be done above the sink or you can take your cleanser in like with you in the shower completely fine just when the, doing this in the shower that's something that i personally like to do myself specifically in the evening i find it very convenient and it just makes sure that everything comes off because sometimes when washing the face above the sink and just using your hands this may not be strong enough and does not really properly do the job to remove everything from the skin surface and therefore like doing it in the shower has already its benefits however you still can make it work above the sink and so this is where i usually like to work with a soft and fresh washcloth in between so my hands alone aren't enough so therefore i like to use a, like a cloth in between i'm going to wet it and then really making sure that the residue of cleanser and then in the evening sunscreen and makeup would properly come off the skin and then there you have it then you can remove the water drops uh, from the skin surface by using a towel so when it comes to the cleanser that you're going to choose i have a bit more of a combination skin so i'm going to use la roche posay Eclair, like purifying gel cleanser that's just one example i have two um like la roche posay cleansers right here the other one is for drier skin type more sensitive skin but what's important is to read on the back of the packaging on how you should use the cleanser specifically if you're working one with one that's suitable for dry skin Skin. Most often, general cleansers uh, are being used on wet skin. However, sometimes, specifically with this one, it does also emphasize use it on dry skin, and you can even remove it a dry way. So, therefore, please read the like instructions on how you should use it. In this example, it is a gel type cleanser. It's a foaming cleanser, so I'm going to use it on wet skin. Starting off with lukewarm water to warm water to wet my face, neck, and hands. And then I'm going to use between one to two pumps of the cleanser, which would be more or less about a coin size amount. Massage it over my face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute. Rinse it off, use the washcloth in between, and then we're going to like take a towel to remove the water drops from the skin surface. So let's go ahead and do this. So now go ahead and take a fresh towel and remove the water drops from the skin surface. Mm -hmm. 
So once you're done with your cleansing step, you can immediately move on to the next step, which would now be the application of the niacinamide serum. Now that one has a bit more of a thick jelly type texture and coated in drops isn't easy based on the dropper. But as a general guide, I recommend going with three to four drops. This should be enough for your face and neck. Now, if of course you feel like this is a bit too much, you can reduce it. If you feel like you want to use an additional drop afterwards, well then go ahead and do so. But make sure that you're able to properly blend the serum all over your face and neck and that it is able to absorb into the skin. You do not need to have a thick layer on the skin surface. So about that much, more or less, you can put the drops on the palm of your hand, fingertips or immediately to the face and then start blending it all over. Just make sure to not get it into your eyes and please do not use it on top of your eyelids because then it may even get still into your eyes. So, and once you're done with the application, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. Now this serum has a bit of a scent in it. It's not too strong, overwhelming, but I do want to emphasize that it does include fragrance. Now, if this is going to be your evening skincare routine, you can stop right here if you do not feel the need of working with a moisturizer afterwards. However, if you feel the need of using one, well then go ahead and use one. I have it as an example, La roche Tolerant Ultra Fluid right here. Use about a bean size amount more or less to evenly apply it thinly all over your face and neck and then there you have it for an evening skincare routine however as I already mentioned earlier I'm going to follow with a morning skincare routine so the next step is going to be my sunscreen so as a general guide on how much you need to use of your sunscreen go with about half a teaspoon for your face and neck as well as including your ears however if you specifically want to focus on your decolletage as well depending on how much exposure you have on your decolletage go with one teaspoon now this can be more or less be adjusted of course this depends on the sunscreen that you're using and how much is left like if you feel like you have used too much product you cannot properly blend it all over there's just too much still on your hands well of course go ahead and reduce use it by the next time if you feel like it's not enough add a bit more to it but this is just primarily a general guide you need to use a fair amount to evenly cover the entire area and if you're doing this properly in the morning 10 to 15 minutes before sun exposure and you usually do not have a lot of sun exposure this can last you for the entire day of course if you have sweat a lot you went for a swim like where the sunscreen really wears off or moves around you always need then to reapply it immediately after the activity so that you can keep the protection however other than that if you have like a usual day by day where you're not being like for such a long period in the sun this should be enough so as an example I have half a teaspoon right here I'm going to fill it up so that you can see the amount and then I'm going to evenly apply it all over I'm going to use Cosrx always soothing sunscreen So about that much more or less. And then blend it evenly all over. Now I'm going to keep my main focus on my face, neck and ears. Now depending on the sunscreen that you're using, it may also mention specifically in the packaging that you shouldn't use it around the eyes and if it does and if it should irritate your eyes when you are getting it too close then of course I recommend following that specific guide. However with that specific sunscreen it does say that I need to avoid my the eye area in general but it does not irritate my eyes. I can even use it on top of my eyelids and nothing happens. So if your sunscreen does not irritate your eyes in any way. Just make sure to not get it into your eyes or into your mouth. That's really important. But if you can use it around the eyes, be gentle around the eyes and mainly use whatever is left on your fingers to then go over the eyes to protect it as well.
So, and once you're done with the application of your sunscreen, you're going to leave it on the skin desk, no need to wash it off. And there you have an example of how you can work with Lausch Posee Niacinamide Zone in a morning skincare routine. Now, I do hope that you enjoyed this video and that you find it helpful. Again, if you want to go over the PowerPoint slides uh, in your own time, you want to see the additional information that I'm always including in my PowerPoint slides, you will find it in the description box down below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you find it helpful, please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And if you now want to learn more about skincare products in general, you want to see the different applications, I'm going to leave some of the videos at the end of this video, but you will find more of them on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.